and worship your maker, your creator, your savior, your redeemer. Bless the Lord with all your soul, with all your heart, with all your mind. For January, for February, for March, for April, for May, for June, for July, for August, for making you to see another brand new month, the month of September, the ninth month. <laughs> can, he, can, you, can you allow him to hear your voice of gratitude? over you over your family over you over your children over you over the work of your hand over you over your finances let's thank god because our god has been so good to all our god has been so marvelous our god has been so kind our god has been so care exalt his holy name my ribragadababa what a great god what a great god what a great god what a great god what a marvelous god what a mighty god what a powerful god what a loving god appreciate him appreciate him appreciate him many desire to see today but they are no more many started the year with all but they are no more many even saw yesterday but today they are gone here you are appreciate god for good health appreciate god for joining me I appreciate God for protection. I appreciate God for supplying your needs. Give him glory for answer prayer. Thank him for the new wave of glory that is producing good news. Marika Praga Zantalia. Thank you for your help. Thank you for healing you. Thank you for taking sickness and diseases away from you. Thank you for prospering the work of your hand. Thank you for prospering your business. Thank you for prospering your ministry. Thank you for his glory. I appreciate God for all the battle he has sought for you. All the victory that God has given to you. I appreciate him. I appreciate him. I appreciate him. Let's thank him for testimony that abandoned this program. Oh, the answer prayer, the miracle, signs and wonder. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. The mercies of the Lord are new every morning. By his mercy, he did not allow our God to see our end. But we saw the end of August. By his mercy, he has brought us into this brand new month. His mercy will surely see us through. Lift up your voice, Lord, and say, Father, for your mercies that I have enjoyed all the days of my life, for your mercy that I endure forever. Oh God, my Father, even as I begin this new month, more than ever before, let me enjoy your mercy. Let your mercy see me through. Ah, this beginning of Umba month. <laughs> Lord, let your mercy see me through. Can you lift up your voice and talk to him? That the mercy of God will see you through. Ah, but Reba to Gazantali Mama. Zobale Katu Gazantali Mama. Daddy, let your mercy see us through. Lord, let your mercy see us through. 
Lord, let your mercy please be merciful unto us this morning. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. The mercy of God will see you through. Only one person is saying amen. Psalm 106, verse 8. Psalm 106, verse 8. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake. And I pray for only one person. As you begin this new month, the Lord will save you. From all evil, he will save you. He will save you from the hands of your enemy. He will save you from affliction. He will save you from sickness and diseases. Say that he might make his mighty power to be known. <laughs> that he might make his mighty power to be known. <laughs> Through you, God will make his power to be known. God will make his power to be known to your enemy that you are undefeatable. Indomitable. God will make his power to be known by blessing you on every side. God will make his power to be known by lifting you up on every side. So you want to take three prayer points very quickly. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, your word it is written. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake. Oh God, my Father, for your name's sake, as for me and my household, as we begin this new month, save us from all evil, save us from all trouble, save us from all our enemies. In the name of Jesus, save us from sickness, save us from diseases, save us from failure. Go ahead, talk to the mighty God. For his name's sake, you shall be saved. Save us from kidnappers, save us from herdsmen, save us from every trouble. Maso Kalala, I had a lot to save you. Oh, my Santa Lia. So, lo brande gazanta libama. Karabate gazanta libama. Lord, you will save us. Lord, you will save every member or city of life. You will save all your children that come to worship in this place. Lord, you will save us from the power of death. <laughs> Lord, you will save us from tragedies, from calamities. Thank you, my chief Father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have prayed. Beloved, there's a reason for this scripture opening this month. Beloved, today marks the beginning of the Umba month. And what are we saying here? <laughs> what you are saying is that the moment you enter in the Umba month, you are doing count down to the end of the year. Am I correct? Yes. Listen to me, sir. This God that we have come to meet here today, we save you from power of death. Yes. We save you from calamities, yes. tragedies. Yes. All the calamity and tragedy that are usually associated with the Umba months. Because you are here this morning, for his name's sake, you shall be saved. If you are saying that, amen, say it loud and clear. Amen. Say, Father. Amen. Say, Father. Amen. For your name's sake, amen. save me and my household, amen. my spouse and my children, amen. and all the members of my family. From the power of death, from affliction, from infirmities, from sicknesses, from evil arrows, from evil bullets, from kidnappers, from ritualists, from accidents. Lord, save us. Oh, 
open your mouth and talk to the Almighty God. Lord, save us for your name's sake. Save us as we begin this Umba Mount. Lord, save us. Please save us. Save us. Save us. From the power of death, save us. From sickness and disease, save us. From tragedy and calamity, save us. Save us for your name's sake. Save my children wherever they are. Save my wife, oh God. Oh, guarantee our safety. Hey, Galebo Sapalaboshi Antalya. Kondolobos Kata. Lord, save us. Save us, oh God. That will not weep, will not mourn, will not sorrow. Lord, save us. Save us from the hands of our adversary. Save us from our foes. Thank you, my dear Father. Hey, Jesus. Most wonderful name we my pray. Papa Fagbala Reho. Papa Fagbala Reho. Baba Fagbara Reho Oluwa o Baba Fagbara Reho Ki gbogbo araye le mo daju wipe Jesus ni ko baba lori aye gbogbo Baba Fagbara Reho He said that he my make his mighty power to be known Sir over your life, God will make his mighty power to be known. I don't care to know the forces that are working against you. But hear me as I hear God. God will make his mighty power to be known. That you are untouchable. That you are indestructible. That you will be lifted. Lift up your two hands to heaven and call out the class. Say, Father, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, Father make your mighty power to be known over my life, over my home, over my family, over my business, over my career, over my ministry, over the work of my hand. Make your mighty power to be known. Lord, show forth your power. Oh, my Riga da Bale. Let them know that you are the one in charge of my life. Lord, make your mighty power to be known. This day, oh God, make your mighty power to be known. Lord, make your mighty power to be known. Lord, show forth your power. Confuse my enemy, frustrate my enemy, defeat all my enemy. Make your mighty power to be known. Lead me beyond imagination. Make your mighty power to be known. Command your blessings. Make your mighty power to be known. Perform signs and wonders, miracles. Calibra Gazantalia. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. Beloved, look at me very well. When God wants to show forth his mighty power, he performs signs and wonders. When God wants to show forth his mighty power, he made the impossible possible. Can I pray for only one person? All the things you have desired to achieve since January till now that have been impossible for you, God will make his mighty power to be known. Luke chapter 1 verse 37 says with God nothing shall be impossible why he will make his mighty power to be known Sir, man, it is by his mighty power that he brought out Israel out of bondage out of captivity by his mighty power he will bring you out of your troubles <sighs> you will take two more prayer points before we take authority over the more little your two hands. say father Make your mighty power to be known and bring me out out of all my trouble, all my pains, my situation, my unpleasant condition. Make your mighty power to be known and deliver me. Go ahead and touch the Almighty God. Let God make His mighty power to be known. Masuka la baka shentalia. Hey, Gele Gaga 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 Kala Bragaboska. Lord, make your mighty power to be known. Ah, through me, oh God. In my life, oh God. Make your mighty power to be known. Bring me out. 
of captivity out of the bondage, out of the hands of the enemy. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. When God wants to make his mighty power to be known, he asks his servant, his prophet, Ezekiel. He said, can this bone live? Can this bone live? Thank God for Ezekiel. He said, ah, Lord, thou know it. Lift up your two hands. Sir, this month, this month, I am over optimistic that something extraordinary will happen in your life. Say, Father, make your mighty power to be known and make all the impossible things in my life to be possible. Perform signs and wonder in my life this month. Go ahead and touch the Almighty God. Kale my son, Kale mama. Lord, make your mighty power to be known. <laughs> Turn the impossible to possible. Make the impossible possible. Lord, in our life, in your church, make the impossible possible. Eh, Kale bakuta balala. Zabre nebo san, Kale mama. You make impossibility possible. He make impossibility possible. Lord Jesus, he make impossibility possible. He make impossibility possible. King of glory, he make impossibility possible. Ah, he, he make, make impossibility, impossibility possible. possible. Hey, he, he make, make impossibility, impossibility possible. possible. I say, he, he make, make impossibility possible. Ah, he make impossibility possible. Ah, he make impossibility possible. I say, he make impossibility possible. Ah, he make impossibility possible. Jesus, he make impossibility possible. Hey, he make impossibility. Jesus, he make impossibility possible. Lord Jesus, he make impossibility possible. King of glory, he make impossibility possible. Jesus, he make impossibility possible. Jesus, he make impossibility possible. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus, he make impossibility possible. Jesus, he make impossibility possible. King of glory, make impossibility. Possible. Ah, possible. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Can I pray for only one person? God will make his mighty power to be known in your life. Things that were hitherto impossible in your life. From January till now, this day, this week, this month, God will make the impossible possible. He will make his mighty power to be known and bless you beyond comprehension. He will make his mighty power to be known and lift you up and your enemy will be seeing you at the top. He will make his mighty power to be known and solve every problem in your life. Heal you of all your diseases. Heal you of sickness. Heal you of affliction. He will make his mighty power to be known and command his blessings upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. For his name say you shall be saved. Saved from the hands of your enemy. Saved from calamity. Saved from tragedies. Save from evil arrow. Save from evil bullet. Save as you go out. Save as you come in. Save in your business. Save in your career. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Put those hands together for the Almighty God. Now we have come to the critical session. Brethren, sir, I want you to believe something. God created us in our own in his own image. Am I correct? And God by his spoken word created heaven and earth. The implication is that if God has also created us by his own image, which he demonstrated after creation, he brought or he created to Adam 
the first man. Say, name them. And whatsoever he called them, that is what they bear. Sir, power of creation is in your tongue. And so whatever you want to say now, don't think you are just speaking mere words. Those who are with travel, length and breadth of the entire universe and walk in your favor. Yeah. Only one person is saying amen. Yeah. Lift up your right hand with me and say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say it loud and clear. Say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I made it I into another brand new month. The ninth month. I am my month of good news. Father, I thank you for all you have protections. Thank you for the provisions. Thank you for the deliverances. Thank you for healings. Thank you for good health. Thank you for journey messages. Thank you for daily supply of my needs. Thank you for all the victories over all my enemies. Thank you for peace. Thank you for joy. Thank you for all the blessings I receive. Thank you for all the blessings that I receive since the beginning of this year. Thank you for the new wave of glory that we produce good news this month and beyond. To God alone be all the glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command and I take authority over this ninth month, the month of September, and my month of good news. I decree and I declare that whatsoever that have been programmed into this month from whatever quarter before I was born or when I was born or after I was born shall not stand and shall not come to power for who is he that speaks and he come to power when the Lord commanded him not he shall not stand he shall not come to power I nullify and I cancel by the blood of Jesus every negative words every projections every evil declaration into this month against me and my household in the name of Jesus say loud and clear in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare that this month will be my best month ever in this year it is my month of good news Therefore, throughout this month, it is only good news that is permitted to come into my years. I reject and I refuse. I reject and I refuse any form of evil news. Whatever the enemy has projected into this month to produce evil news is hereby cancelled. And only for I shall not hear evil news. My ears, say loud and clear. My ears are blocked to evil news, and my ears are open to good news in my life and in my home. I will hear good news, good news of peace, good news of joy, good news of victories good news of breakthrough good news of promotion good news of increase good news of blessings good news of healing good news of deliverance good news of miracles signs and wonders good news of celebration good news of favor good news of accelerated progress good news of help good news of glory and honor shall I hear in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare over this month that throughout this month I will not have reason to sorrow. I will not weep. I will not mourn. I will not know or see evil. 
I will not know or see evil. I will not know tragedies and calamities. I will not suffer loss. I will not be robbed. I will not know any form of accidents. I will not suffer setback. I will not be victim of fire. I will not be stagnated. I will not know regrets. I will not know backwardness. I will not know retrogression. I will not know failure. I will not know frustration. Darkness shall not cover me. The light of God shall shine brighter and brighter all around me. Throughout this month, I will not operate from obscurity. The light of God will bring me to limelight. My voice shall be heard. My voice will not be echoed. God will make me a voice in my generation. September. Say loud and clear. September. Hear the word of God. I shall be blessing you and each day in you from today to the 30th day I shall be blessed on a daily basis you will not withhold any of my blessing from me I will have robust health and sickness and diseases shall be taken far away from me I will not know affliction or infirmities. September, hear the word of the Lord. You will cooperate with me and you will not walk against me and you will not see my end. Throughout this month, the presence of the Lord shall abide with me everywhere I go and his goodness and mercy shall follow me everywhere I go. I will break through. I will prosper. I will be remembered for good. I will not suffer defeat. I will be fulfilled. I will swim in blessings. And I will swim in abundance. I will not end this month and this year empty handed. All things shall cooperate with me this month. And I will live holy and righteous. And sin shall not have dominion over me in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and bless the Holy Ghost. Hey, Bazon Tali Mama. It is on, it is on, it is on. Kabaga gaga gaga. Kore brede bosan tali mama. Zole basun tamblande gaga. Shemba leke tege santoli mama. Oh, Mazinta la gate gazuantalia. Tomba le bro gazantali baba. Sule gazuntali mama kashentali. Thank you, mighty father. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Stretch out your hands to the altar. My dad is in the house. Brethren, in that name that is above every other name. The law will establish your command. The earth will obey you. Heaven will obey you. Name will obey you. Beast will obey you. The astral world will obey you. The sun, the moon, the star, they will obey you. The wind will obey you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever you have asked to come, we locate you. Whatsoever that you have asked to leave, we go. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That that you have spoken shall come to power. And I decree. The declaration of your enemy. Shall not supersede your declaration. Your own declaration. Shall supersede that of the wicked. It doesn't matter the altar. It doesn't matter the covenant where they have projected this against you. They are hereby cancelled and nullified. 
in the name of Jesus. The new wave of glory will produce good news for you. All run through this month and beyond, it shall be good news. Your year shall be open to good news. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I thought somebody said that amen seven powerful times. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Let somebody scream. Can we celebrate? Can we celebrate? Good news. 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 Everywhere good news. 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 Hallelujah. Walk to seven people and tell them congratulations. I didn't ask you to shake hand. Give them elbow, elbow, elbow. Don't shake hand. No. Just say congratulations. 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 Either elbow or knuckle. Either elbow or knuckle. Congratulations. You made it. You made it. You made it. Congratulations. Can I prophesy into your life of somebody? Do I have your permission to prophesy into your life? The same way they have congratulated you today. So shall they congratulate you in the new year. May you hear good news that will put laughter in your mouth forever. You didn't hear me, sir. May you hear good news that will put laughter in your mouth forever. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Who will be the first to hear good news? Let your shout of hallelujah be the loudest. Amen and amen and amen. Let me sit there. I have 10 minutes remaining as I introduce the topic good news. And the topic this morning is this month entirely is prophetic. This is a prophetic month. And so watch out. Because God will be speaking into your life. Maybe on your behalf I should just say this. I speak peace into your day. I speak peace into September for you. I speak joy into September for you. I speak fruitfulness into September. I speak increase into September. I speak multiplication into September. I speak greatness into September for you. I speak success into September for you. I speak help into September for you. I speak bread into September for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Be still in his presence. The topic this morning, in accordance to the theme for the month, is I will hear good news. I don't know about you. Maybe you need to harass your neighbor. Look at your neighbor eyeball to eyeball and say, I will hear good news. <laughs> Turn to the other neighbor. Harass him or her. Say, I will hear good news. And what did your neighbor say? Hallelujah. Genesis 45, verse 25 to 28. That's where we are starting from today. And they went up out of Egypt and came into the land of Canaan unto Jacob their father and told him, saying, Joseph is yet alive and he is governor over all the land of Egypt. And Jacob's heart fainted, for he believed them not. And they told him all the words of Joseph, which he had said unto them. And when, and when he saw the wagons which Joseph had sent to carry him, the spirit of Jacob, their father, revived. And Israel said, It is enough. Joseph, my son, is yet alive. I will go and see him before I die. You will hear good news. 
Iroyin rere Iroyin ayo Iroyin dunu You will hear Beloved There are two key words in this month's team news and good making the combination of good news what is news according to the Oxford dictionary news is newly received <laughs> what I call it newly received or noteworthy information newly received noteworthy information especially about recent event usually a broadcast or public report not previously known to someone that's why it's a news it's not previously known. And what that tells you straight away, when you're talking about news, there's something new that is in news. And the accumulation of those new things is called news. Oh, you didn't get what I said. You didn't get it. When you write new, remove the S. Hello? When the new now become many, you put the S, become what? news. <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> it's now you got what I'm talking about. Can I prophesy into your life? This month, only new things are permitted to happen to you. And those new things will now become news. <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. And when you talk about good, when you talk about good, good means something that is favorable something that is uh, excellent something that is fine something that is valuable something that is beneficiary praise God something that is desirable can I pray for somebody sir something fine is about to happen I mean something great something fine something excellent so to hear good news therefore is to receive a pleasant information that will gladden your heart now do what like you can see in our test you know the story of uh, Joseph and the brothers very well if you read Genesis 37 verse 32 to 35 the brothers of Joseph came home one day all they did was to bring to, David, to Jacob the cloth of many color of his son and they killed an animal rubbed the cloth with the blood and told their father that a wicked beast <laughs> had devoured him Praise the Lord. And so the man have concluded he have lost his son. Only suddenly in the month of September <laughs> in the night month <laughs> the news came that 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 they thought was dead that that they thought had been lost he is alive not just alive, alive doing well, not just alive doing well, alive in charge, reigning, glorious in another nation, can I pray for you sir it doesn't matter the bad news you have had before now the good news that we cancel then shall be high and what that tells you straight away sir, is that if there is good news, there is bad news if there is good news, there is what? The news brought by the brothers of Joseph to their father in Genesis 37, verse 32 to 35 was a bad news. And if you read Job 
chapter 1, verse 14 to 21. Suddenly, Job began to be hearing bad news of the death of the children, of the loss of his flocks, all kinds of things, all kinds of calamity. They were bringing the news to Job. I mean, it was terrible. Stand on your feet. We are starting with, I will not hear what? That I will hear what? Tomorrow is, I will not hear bad news. But we want to pray this prayer. And say, Father, Father. any bad news the enemy have programmed programmed. into this month. month. Because your word says, I will hear good news. And I believe. Oh God, my Father, Father. let no bad news come to me. Let no bad news come to my family. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Zalema mama kashente li mama. Skelema santa li mama. Sale brande gazon tali. I will not hear bad news. My yes are blocked to bad news. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have prayed. You can please be seated for a while. Beloved, we have institutions that report news. That's why in the contemporary world, you have media houses that publish and broadcast news. Some are audio, some are audiovisual. When you talk about audio, you are talking about radio station and what have you. And we are talking about the visual, you are talking about television station and what have you. And then you have print medias. Praise the Lord. So when you talk about I will hear good news the question is who can bring the good news to you? Who can bring good news? Because these are the things you should watch out for this month. Because you will hear good news. Somebody must bring it. Am I correct? Who are they? Number one. I'm going to rush because time is up. Angels of God can bring you good news. What did I say? When you read Luke chapter 2, verse 8 to 11, you have said the shepherds were washing over the flocks and suddenly an angel came to them and said, I have brought you good news. For today, a child is born. Praise the Lord. And he gave them the sign through which they will know. And he said, a savior is... That's the greatest news. That we have Jesus as our savior. It was angels that brought that good news to the shepherd. Can I pray for you, sir? Before the end of this month, angels of God will bring you good news. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Then this one will shock you. Make, let me not give you that one yet. <laughs> Who will bring you good news? Apart from angels. Divine messengers. Divine messengers. Second Kings chapter 9, verse 2 to 3 and 6. Jehu was among the midst of his colleagues, captains. But Elisha sent a divine messenger to him to break the news to him that he is now the king of Israel. So a divine messenger located him telling him, now you can reign. Now you are a king. Read it. 2 Kings chapter 9 verse 2 to 3. Can I pray for only one person? Your own divine messenger, where do you want him to locate you? Where? I decree, sir, in agreement with you, a divine messenger will bring your good news. Yeah. 
Who can bring your good news as I close? Divine visitors. Divine what? Genesis chapter 18, verse 9 to 12. It was divine visitor that brought good news to Abraham. Abraham that have lost hope of having a child at the age of 100 and the wife 90 years. The divine visitor said to him, where is thy wife Sarah? He said, because by this time, Sarah will bring forth. And suddenly Sarah laughed. And since Sarah laughed it today, laughter have not ceased in the house of Abraham. Uh -huh. That will bring you good news. We locate you today. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Who can bring you good news? Divine helpers or helpers of your destiny can bring you good news. Second Samuel chapter 9, verse 5 to 8. It was David that brought good news to Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth had been abandoned and forgotten. But David sent Ziba to him. Go and tell him. He can now come to the palace. Go and tell him his, his grandfather's inheritance is now restored to him. Can I pray for you, sir? Help us will bring good news to you. I have told you this month is month of prophecy. Am I correct? I prophesy into your life. Divine enablers and helpers will bring good news to you. And then, as you remain standing, as I close, even your enemies will be used to bring your good news. That won't shock you, ba? Uh, let it not shock you. Your enemies, they will come and broadcast the good news. Remember, in Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52, blind Bartimaeus was sitting down as a blind man. He cannot even walk. But he hired toward Jesus. He began to call Jesus. All the people, the enemy say, she keep short. We will get eye, get hand, get leg. We never see Jesus. You wear your, you don't even see himself. You never know the clothes where you wear. Now he they call Jesus. Get out from there. But Jesus stood still. And said, Come. The same enemies went to him with good news. He said, Be of good share. Get up. He called thee. <laughs> Hello. Who brought the news? Those that said, Keep short. I said, They are the same people that say, Be of good share. Every place you have went that you were giving bad news. The same people will send for you and give you good news. So, sir, so, man, only one prayer you want to pray as I close. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, whatever it will take, whatever it will cost, let me hear good news. Whoever you want to use, be your angels, divine messengers, divine visitors, my helpers, or even my enemy. All that matters. Let me hear good news. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. All that matters. Lord, all that matters today. Let me hear good news. Whoever you want to use, let me hear good news. Let every one of your children hear good news. Let us hear good news. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we are praying. There is somebody here, I don't know who you are. The Lord said it has been years now that you have been expecting a particular breakthrough. He says it's a settled matter. Because you will surely hear good news. Father, I thank you. I magnify your holy name. I set myself in agreement with all your children. And I ask. Whatever it will take. Whatever it will cost. 
precious father whether you want to use let every one of all hear good news in that about Jesus angels will bring good news to you divine messenger will bring good news to you divine visitor will bring good news to you your destiny helper will bring good news to you your friends will bring good news to you your relative will bring good news to you your children will bring good news to you even your enemy shall bring good news to you in the name of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit say that amen nine powerful times want to go two three four five six seven eight and amen and amen beloved I look forward to this day I mean the first of the month right I want to make God the first I am giving to and so I will not give him any harm brethren it is good thing that you are giving to God first this month and on that note he will make you first everywhere you go so can you lift up your seat and say father I have made you number one I am glad to give to you let me be glad to give to me go ahead and talk to the almighty God thank you mighty father lord I'm glad to give to you let me be glad to give to me for your word it is to give and it shall be given unto you good measure price and shake it together and run you over shall men give to your bosom and so shall it be in Jesus name the God that you have made number one and you are giving to this morning will make you number one in business number one in your career number one among your family number one everywhere you go and because you are giving him with glad heart he will cause men to give to you gladly in the name of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit you want that God the biggest blessing will say the loudest congratulations I rejoice with you see you tomorrow morning as we continue this brand new month I know something good have started already and I will hear your good news and by this evening we'll be meeting at our respective house fellowship center God bless you and God see you through the grace